welcome back guys welcome back to s random sexy blitzkrieg of sexiness i'm still figuring out how to freaking say the freaking thing doesn't really matter it's the sexiest thing of sexiness this time around we are again doing the why are we actually even doing the expansion set because the expansion set has a lot the well huge chunk of single player mission single scenario missions so that's why we are choosing that one Anywho, let's go on to the costume game. Choose a mission, which I already actually chose the mission. And I'm gonna be a Trondheim 1940, which means the Hammer of Gods. And then we'll play maybe Narvik April 1940 down the line. But all in all, the good stuff, you know, it's like... I don't understand what the hell does this, man. Like, mission name, there are like two stars, the two... Well, whatever these things are. The German evil stars of awesome. And the crosses. So I have no idea. Maybe that's the difficulty level, possible difficulty level in default mode, in a normal difficulty. Level. That's okay, cool. If it's difficult, that's great. So we're gonna be doing doing the the Tron 1940. Let's begin. It's with the Germans. With the Germans. <laughs> Take snipers to the island. Okay, good for us. Let's see what the hell is the thing what that what what is our objective first and foremost can we escape this because yeah yeah okay the recon officer has to do okay let's do it like this because it's easier actually to read like this uh my monitor actually died my 24 inch monitor died recently so i'm playing on a very small <laughs> monitor this game it, it's old school okay it, it goes perfect with this bullshit so anywho okay take snipers to the island Central Norway, April 24, 1940. The German Wehrmacht has occupied Denmark and the most important cities in Norway in a surprise attack. The English and French did, however, land an expedition corps in Norway on April 17 as a part of Operation Jupiter. Your troops have been given an order to occupy the railway junction that is being held by Norwegian and British evil bastards. An immediate attack over the bridges would be suicidal, because it's not cool enough. Your division staff has drawn up an alternative plan of awesome. Get your sniper to small scary island archipelago. This could be a good starting point to reconnoiter your enemy's positions. The fjord is mostly frozen over and your sniper shouldn't have any problems getting to the island. And then find the officer. A recon officer has to do an emergency landing in the scaries with his Faisal Storch. He should have important information for your unit. Find this officer. Okay, so do, he has to do an, has to do an emergency landing. Hmm, so he didn't yet do an emergency landing. Have fuck no clue. Okay, so we are playing this time around with as the Germans. It's winter 1988. It's sexy like a beast. So let's begin. We have to move our sniper towards these locations and graphic glitches get used to them <laughs> for some time. At least the high end optimization thing it tends to do that, but that's the only way for me to actually capture First this because day. OPS again doesn't work anymore Shots for me right. with Blitzkrieg games. Fuck it. Life is like that. So again, get the beautiful sniper towards these locations and then get over these locations and then get some graphic glitches over these locations. It's gonna be awesome. But first and foremost, I'm gonna also send one squad with the uh, with our friend here. Well, let's see what do we have here. We have the German soldier Mauser 98K. Of course, quite understand we don't have any uh, MP40s. Maybe no, actually, these are just well. We have some anti-tank guys. We have the MG34 machine gunner. So which it's quite a difference compared to what we get usually down the line. We get the assault squads with the MP40s and MG42s even I believe, but we don't get car 98s, dude, or even the car, you know, the other ones, you know, the semi-auto ones. I for, like uh, the K41s, no, I for, I, for, I forgot the G oh Gewehr 41s, yeah, 41s or down the line 43s or however they're called. <coughs> Yeah, that's kind of a bomber though. There's not like a huge uh, chunk of difference in terms of weaponry the Germans or anyone else is using down the line. Like the late troops and stuff Come like that. Go. I mean, yeah, sure, they use the MP44s or whatever, but where are the other things? You know, not just the freaking assault rifles. 
Thankfully, the officer himself. Oh, there it is. Actually, there is an officer. There you go. That's an officer. That's what we waited for. But it doesn't really matter. We're gonna send that one squad alongside with the sniper, and we shall see what the hell is going on here. I mean, we are doing a good job here for the Germany. We're helping the Third Reich be awesome, and we're being attacked now. Okay, he was captured by someone. Whoa. Yes. Oh, wait. Was that a new thing? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, no it's not, it's actually the same thing, we just finished the sniper on the island objective, and the officer is kind of alive, he was captured by the British man, and of course take sniper to the island, air support is available, okay, the recon officer has a good and bad news for you, the bad news, the enemy is using packs, strong buffers, light AA guns, and armored vehicles, these include Valentine tanks, which can seriously match your Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s. The good news is it looks as if the enemy is not counting on your advance as yet. The British and Norwegian soldiers are sleeping and some guards are protecting the base. In case of an attack, the enemy will quickly occupy all the important positions and guns. You have to surprise the enemy and prevent enemy troops from manning their positions. Supreme Command provides massive air support and airborne troops for this difficult task. Your mission objective is to conquer the left bridge. You should also capture the right bridge in order to be able to make use of all your armored power. Okay, then seize the, oh my god, seize the train station. Seize the train station. Numerous of Valentine tanks are parked there, according to our information given by a recon officer. The Valentine tanks are not ready for operation at present. In the case of an alarm, the English soldiers should, however, try to reach the tanks and take them into the battle. Should the enemy manage to get its soldiers and, well, to the tanks and be able to man them, then this will make things extremely difficult for you and your fight against Nazism. However, should the alerted English soldier be prevented from reaching the tanks, the Valentine tanks will not take part in the battle. Your mission objective is to seize the train station. Well, this is going to be kind of hard, so let's get save immediately. Uh, however it goes, the mission goes, we're going to figure it out, doesn't really matter. I mean, in the uh, reality-wise, they're never really that hard. <coughs> the missions themselves. I mean, they take Must some time, fair. depending on the situation. And this situation, look what we have. We have even Panzer Fours. I mean, they are Panzer Four Cs, actually, which are, again, the s smaller, well, shorter barrel. Which, again, doesn't mean anything, it just means they're shit. So I guess it means something. Okay, so the point is that there are some Valentine tanks. Let's see the support. Support it big. At the moment, they're not expecting anything. Uh, now this is La Plata uh, expansion. They, they they allow you to spam a lot of airborne at the same time instead of like the regular Blitzkrieg where you have to wait to send the next thing in to the battle, which could prove kind of like it's kind of a a bad thing. I have no idea why we send that sniper because he reality wise doesn't get any insight. But I'm gonna send over this location specifically towards the railway station. As many things here, I have no idea where the Valentines could be. Maybe in this location uh, or nicely positioned here, like in this location. Oh man, what to do? What to do? I mean, I want to destroy Valentine. That everything else is secondary, I guess. But also, their A guns could do some damage. So let's see where can anything be. I mean, they can be anywhere. There are no specific spots at the moment. I don't see any barricades and stuff like that that can, uh, you know, show me that there could be any guns or stuff like that. There is actually some bunkers and stuff like that. So let's send maybe a. I have no idea what the ground attack plane should be. 1944 Zivler Germans and the bombers themselves. I don't know how many times we can uh, call them in. So I'm gonna call in them. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Go. 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 Send over here, bomber. Send something here also. Uh, paratroopers. Attack. Go. Okay. Yes, there are the Valentine tanks. Hopefully, we will be able to manage this. And I missed my target. God damn it, for the Valentine tanks themselves. Hopefully we hit something. Oh, maybe not. Yes! One Valentine is alive, Seven. It would seem. 
Okay, well, okay, so, okay, conquer two rear, rear, okay, conquer the village, you know, most important tactical points under your control, now remove all the enemy troops, from the, okay, so one valentine survived this, but my soul, my paratroopers are just dropping in, motherfucker, they're dropping in. Yeah, there goes a valentine, fuck off, bitch. Yes, nice. So the, the enemy artillery is opening fire here. Maybe we can do some damage there. The enemy air is coming online. There are buffers everywhere. Do we have any AT, well, artillery support? Nope. Yeah. What the hell are they? Oh my, that's mine. Of course, paratroopers. Yay. Go, 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 go. My freaking paratroopers are owning British stuff, but we are losing in air. The air is being totally demolished by our, well, by their stuff, their artillery guns, everything. But thankfully, our paratroopers are still coming. They're not destroying those at least. Well, as I say that, I lose one of my, two of my, <laughs> well, I'm going to lose all my freaking airdrops. Well, my freaking beautiful whatever my things are the aircraft transport aircraft what the hell do my paratroopers even have here they have the mp40s of course wow that's what well, that was actually kind of an awful thing they did definitely own us there we could have attacked while all that crap was happening, but we didn't. We waited out a little bit. And our anti-air stuff didn't do a great job, to be honest. But that's okay. I think we have done a lot of damage upon the enemy. At least we killed all that, but to be honest, the amount of damage that we did uh, was nothing. I mean, uh, I should have sent my paratroopers on these locations, you know, but oh well. And I only have like paratroopers calling in now because I lost all others, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go. For now, we did a little bit of a good job. We'll see how that's gonna go down the line. We have a sniper though, so that would that's something, I guess. We can snipe out all those bitches. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Again, I can send some paratroopers, a very important thing, I guess. Uh, so I could send them on these locations or on these locations or some locations. I'm not going to get overly close to these bridges. It's useless now. But I could send them somewhere close by. Maybe not. Maybe not. They're already dropping everything they have. That's okay. I'll send one plane here or maybe just for the support i mean only one plane anyway so it's kind of a joke if you will i can't believe i don't have any in the artillery guns for myself yeah he's kind of dead but that's okay we tried we failed miserably but that's totally okay now we have some 80 guns right in front of us. It's unbelievable, we did a lot of stuff, but somehow that wasn't good enough. I mean, the amount of artillery they have is going to be a significant problem here. Now I can hope that they can get close enough, and there you go. If we can kill off these bastards, thank you very much. I can send some tanks maybe as a support for this bullcrap. And I can close the entire fucking squad though. Totally cool of course. Thank you very much. Stop. Yeah, that's like the entire fucking squad just got owned. Fall back. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all those squads, sadly, but hell's bells, I need my sniper, that's for sure. Do we have any 
artillery support, flak, not three. They don't, we don't even have mortars. That's okay. This was actually kind of a waste. We lost also the panzer. There comes the entire brigade of these bastards. Holy crap, that's a lot of enemy soldiers right there. Hmm, this could be a problem. Significant, actually, problem. Okay, so we lost, like, the first... The entire first part to this, and that was a disaster. We don't have any kind of artillery support, and they can drop all the nades they want here. And it's gonna be a GG for us. And, you know, the problem is the artillery part. They have, like, a lot of artillery just there waiting for us. And, of course, they're now wanna actually going to try and conquer us. Because they are cool enough like that. Well, that's nice. And, of course, the artillery helps them out a little bit here and there. Just saying. That's okay. This could have been a big fail. But it's not. It's awesome. It's all good. We're doing great. <laughs> like, we're doing great. The artillery is just bombing the living fuck out of us at this point. Let's get that freaking APC out of there. That is not gonna help us. It was seen that their, their own... Um, support onto the main part was a well was the thing that they actually sent towards us now now the problem of course will be how the hell am i gonna cross the bridge with uh, no way of destroying their artillery stuff as you have seen those buffers just owned us of course i could just charge in and try to do it that way that of course is gonna be kind of a problematic part now they're dropping everywhere hoping to hit something and of course if my tanks are close to each other they're gonna get freaking owned there thank you very much so uh yeah we're gonna go with the uh best thing possible that is our sniper control one thank you very much get over here i'm gonna position some troops here and there of course they're gonna be lying on the ground and hopefully we're not... Ah, of course we lose the Puma. Well, it's not a Puma, but Hell's Bells. The earlier variant of the Puma, whatever. We're gonna get this sniper and we're gonna snipe out those bitches on buffers before we can move in and do anything. Because, again, no artillery support for us means that... No, of course, any kind of support for us. That means that we're gonna go this with this specific part. Again, <laughs> the problem is the enemy just have uh, lots of ammunition and lots of trucks and lots of everything. And I believe that all those paratroopers failed. Like, they have MP40s while these guys have Lee Enfields and they still fucking failed in close combat. Like, how sad fucking is that when you can't do anything about that specific thing? And the only thing now we can send is, of course, the fighter planes, which are going to be good if the enemy tries to do something. We would actually try from this location to do something also. Like attack the enemy. Maybe see what's happening there. I just need to overlook the buffers. And I can snipe them up. Thank you very much for this beautiful glitch. Of awesome. Let's move in closer. Closer and closer. Until my sniper has a beautiful view. And just can snipe out those bitches. He should be almost invisible to the enemy eye. But we shall see. Let's get this squad over here. Let's stop with the sniper for now. Move in. I could easily disperse the squad and do the bad and the ugly. In terms of I can just use my sniper for this without getting close with these specific guys. And them getting bombed to hell and back. Uh, again, saddened that we don't really have any kind of a, uh, like mortars. At least mortars would be like... Oh, we don't even have a freaking officer in this squad. Well, that's kind of sad. We don't even have an officer in this squad. We do have trucks, I believe, that can resupply my men. So I'm going to do that immediately there. I'm going to do that for every single thing. I tend to forget that though, this is a Blitzkrieg, not a freaking Cuban Missile Crisis where you have the trucks that resupply stuff. Okay. So we have to capture this, I guess, but hopefully the enemy did disperse most of the troops around, so we might even capture that one squad. Can we even resupply our men? 
like in terms that while we have guys inside <laughs> the trucks themselves Yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, unbelievable. How the hell are we not getting sight from this location towards this location? It just doesn't like doesn't compute to me. But that's okay. We're gonna try it out nonetheless. Get a little bit close. We know that they're all their artillery positions are on the left. Probably just seeing those artillery positions with what we have. Nothing. Get up a little bit closer. Nothing. Where's my sniper? Thank you very much. Get over here. Oh man, I need a better position for to overlook uh, that uh, damnable thing. I mean, killing those buffers is not. A, I mean, is a problem actually because we can kill off these guys, and if we don't kill off the main things, these guys, these guys need to die. You know, these are the guys that need to die. Do we have anything good? Anything a long range? We have these 88s to be honest and they would be perfect for this job actually they have the longest range of all my units on the battlefield should have the longest range i could utilize them specifically for this and kill off those targets down the line without getting overly too close and i look look at it the, the freaking sniper sees this bullshit. the other guys don't see shit. get down thank you very much you get over here you're gonna stand in the position where my sniper is now i don't know how much the invisibility of sniper is reduced compared again to the original blitzkrieg and the funny thing he has to stand up he can be easily seen by the enemy he can be easily seen by the enemy because of that now the just for me is to get close as possible towards these trucks and own them Okay, let's see, of course, if we lose the sniper, though, that's gonna be a problem. I'm kind of worried that they, he, he can be seen now easily compared to previous things. I want to try and kill off those trucks, if possible. There, there are no repair trucks near them, so... So the only choice is for me to snipe out the fucking trucks. Fall back. Let's spread our forces left and right. Like soldiers, that is. Just spread them up a little bit. For in case if the enemy moves in with the soldiers, uh, for the sniper, we can do something about that. So there you go. An artillery and again, two trucks. I'm going to try to snipe out those two trucks also. Again, these trucks will allow the enemy to uh, resupply manpower. Let's hope they don't get he doesn't get seen. So good wie erledigt. Ich justiere auf Windstärke 4. Okay. It's all good for now. The most important things are the trucks. Without the trucks, the enemy is kind of fucking dead. Okay, let's drop these troops. That's a lot of troops, man. That's a freaking lot of troops let's spread these guys a little bit i'm gonna spread this awesome beautiful german manpower here and there we have a lot of it <laughs> thankfully but just getting those 88s now close as possible thank you very much and hopefully they don't get owned one shot by an unknown, unknown factor because they're that cool i am still thankful that i can do all this bull crap and actually i can continue killing these guys off they're gonna try and resupply them probably that with that one truck yes there you go they resupplied immediately that's the problem the trucks are the problem the tr trucks are the main thing if i can kill off these guys i can get a little bit closer with my sniper which would not be a bad thing that's why i'm gonna use my ats to kill off the buffers and i can hope that these guys actually have a longer range than most of my things we're gonna wait it out here with that one put this one into position and hope for the ranges oh my god it's, i hope that's a range hopefully i mean hopefully the blue one is the range also because if this is the range of the 88 then come on then this thing has to be like a range this big like this big honestly 
das Ziel muss erst näher kommen. Oh my god, the ranges in the Blitzkrieg 1 are awful. Just fucking awful. Honestly, this is the range. So I have to get like this close towards this thing to be able to kill anything with the AT8. Come on, what kind of a logic is that? That, 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 like, is a, such a bad thing. So I'm gonna try and kill off this with Sniper because I'm gonna lose the AT-8. The AT-8s can't even reach the buffers. The buffers can easily... I mean, they killed things over here. Those buffers are 40 millimeter. They're 40 millimeter buffers. How sad is that? Are there two trucks in that one truck? I have no idea what's happening now. Are we actually killing that or is there a bug of sorts? Oh no, there there it is, there it goes. I don't know what the hell was he shooting at. We could hear screaming. And like there are definitely two of them, it would seem. Uh, no, that's actually a light howitzer that we were shooting at. Wow. Okay, so now they're kind of fucking dead. Now that we have killed off uh, the freaking trucks, and if they do try again with the trucks, if they are close by, well, no. If they want to actually resupply these bastards. If they don't, that's a GG for them. And I says, oh, all, oh, all. Oh. I mean, the thing about Blood 3 1 is that the snipers themselves are so OP that you can do the entire mission and clear out all the problematic parts because of that. And that's kind of like, like a not the greatest fucking thing ever, to be honest. Like, really bad stuff. I mean, you can really OP the shit cause of it. Like, the entire mission can be, like, so easily finished cause of that one fucking fact. Like, there is a howitzer here that thankfully we have a nice look towards. We kill all those howitzers. We've seen that maybe, maybe one of them have, has been destroyed. As you can see, this is a crew that survived. The crew that, that actually survive so that was definitely a pro the one of our stukas that destroyed their these positions at some point i'm thankful that the enemy doesn't give two fucks about this and that they are getting owned here now with the sniper now in sudden strikes in sudden strike the game thank you capture the left bridge you now have the most important tactical points under your control now remove all enemy troops from the village not really i still have this bridge but you know, there, there's like a, that point, you know, that freaking point that, you know, tells you like, what the fuck was I talking about? See, I, I totally forgot what the hell was I talking about. Completely forgot what the hell I was I talking about. I was probably talking about two girls and three cups of tea. But I totally forgot. Yeah, nonetheless, we captured the bridge. We did well, and this is going to be it for this first video, because it, unbelievably, it is going to take a little bit longer than expected. Some mistakes did happen, I just rushed in with every single air thing I had, rushed this position, hopefully to destroy the buffers, even if I, even yeah. I knew myself under the lines of awesome that that would, would have been a waste of resources. Doesn't really matter, we have like a gazillion other evil Germans to replace other gazillion of other evil Germans, so it's all good. We still have uh, most of our primary tanks still alive, Panzer 4 Cs, uh, which are totally crappy, they're like heavy tanks my ass. Uh, if the freaking Valentines can easily own these bastards, that's a joke. And look at all this destruction. We saved that we showed the very best, and next time we'll continue on.